Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Great to welcome back you to the program. The man who makes the program possible, Dwayne Emony, CEO of Air Chathams. Good evening to you, Dwayne. Very good evening, John. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you, Dwayne? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's uh, things are just ticking along nicely at the moment. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. Here we are, we've sort of emerged from lockdown with looking with great horror, looking aghast at what's happening uh, overseas, places that we know and love like Melbourne and Sydney and and uh, various other places. Uh, the, the States, of course, is a basket case. And here we are, we seem to be in our little bubble and business appears at least some of the local businesses tell me that they're doing very well zero came out the other day and said the june just passed it's like the june of last year for most local businesses on average of course some better and some worse so how's it felt for you Dwayne, as we enter sort of the initial post covid 19 period yeah, it's it's been it's been tough, but uh, all in all, the positive signs are, are coming through. Uh, Carpety service, the Carpety to Auckland service, has been really a shining light for us since we started uh, late May. In terms of uh, that business traffic, quite early, um, mm. see that uh, quite the same with Wanganui and Fokitane. However, both of those routes are you know, slowly but surely building back. I think there was a much greater proportion of uh, our, our travelling passengers from those two other regions uh, that were, were national services. Obviously, you can't do that at the moment, so yes. the market's fallen away. There's been a small pickup, I think, in uh, domestic uh, tourism that are using Air Chatham services um, out of Wanganui, Fokitane and, and the Carpet Coast. But for the most part, the, um, the business traffic uh, off the coast has, has has come back to uh, Air Chat. Mm. Driving south through the Wellington traffic, a, a service out of there is, is putting people off as it has done in the past and then they're coming back and using our services, which is really great. Well, you've proved to be reliable and you've just hit it on the head about the travelling to Wellington. It's absolutely a no-brainer. Of course you fly with Air Chathams. You don't brave the traffic because anything can happen in that traffic and anyone who's been on the coast for some time knows that. Dwayne, I've, I've wanted to ask you, was it a big risk for you to open up the Carpety operation after the previous operator um, really had had given air travel a bad name. I'll just leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? It's interesting you say that uh, the feedback we got coming into the route before we'd made any decisions was, uh, and it was and fairly straight up to a lot of business people and, uh, and, and general uh, residents on the coast that we spoke with, that mm. lost confidence in the, in the service, which is a real shame. So that was a big challenge for each other. But we've... Uh, we've done what we said we were going to do, which is yeah. um, stick to our guns, make sure the planes arrive when they're supposed to arrive. Well, it certainly seems to have come through, Dwayne, and a small company, a small family-owned firm such as yours can provide that degree of reliability, whereas a much larger operation with many, many more resources struggle with that. Do you think, in fact, that they were a large organisation with many competing demands? Do you think that that was one of the problems, that they couldn't focus on, on the knitting, they couldn't focus on getting the main job done. Yeah, again, it's interesting. Their, their priority in terms of the service may have been uh, directed in other areas. I mean, remember at the time there was quite fierce competition going on with uh, with Jetstar oh, yes. as well, and, and, and I think that really did have, a, have an effect on some of those non-competitive routes. Um, that's really hard to say, but all in all, I think that for... For a 50-seat aeroplane, the market was probably a little bit too small. I think with uh, the uh, Saab 340s running running at 30 seats, that, that fits the market better uh, uh, with a low operating cost model. And, and again, I mean, it means a lot more to Air Chatham. It really does. I mean, it's a big mm. part of our business, and uh, we've got to get it right. So um, the priority was there from day one to do that. What an excellent point you make about the size of the aircraft. I hadn't even thought about that. So, yes, the, there are different sizes there. Any thoughts about expansion in the future, or have you got quite enough in your hands at the moment? I'm always looking at opportunities. Uh, a lot of the residents on the Carpety Coast are keen for a connection to Christchurch. That's something that um, mm. in time we could potentially look at um, uh, because we know that there are... 
uh, well, there is quite a large uh, community of, of ex Cantabrians uh, living in on the coast, which is uh, which is great. That's something that we can we can look at. There's potential there. Uh, but I think right now, let's stick to the knitting. Make sure, sure. we do what we're doing now really well. Uh, we've got a, a you know still a long way to go in terms of our recovery from COVID-19. So uh, certainly not out of the woods, and we, <laughs> that's really where our focus has to be for right now. But each Adams didn't get to where it is today by not looking at opportunities around the oh. corner, so anything's possible. Oh, good on you, mate. Well, congratulations on what you've achieved and for keeping it going and entering into this new era in New Zealand. Things are not the same, but there again, they were never going to be. This is a major event, and we're just making our very best of what we can at the moment. And it's great that you're looking forward as well. Great to chat with you, and we look forward to do it again here on Beach FM. Thank you very much, Dwayne Emony. Excellent. Enjoy your weekend. 106.3 Beach FM.